welcome back to the Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Ah, finally have a desk. Yes. It's nice. It's like pretty much like this whole freaking huge ass kind of thing. It's like it's got like a desk to come out for the keyboard. It's got like a big ass one thing here where I got my laptop on. It's like uh, I could have like a couple of my DVDs, games, and all that shit on the desk up next. A shelf up by it and all that. Another shelf on top of that. Shelf below for my PlayStation 3. It's it's nice. I even got like this little lamp with a fan on it. It's nice. And of course my mouse pad here, which I don't have a mouse for because uh, I have a built-in one on my laptop. So when I like, it'll be convenient to have it that way once I get a mouse, you know. And I don't even know, I haven't used a freaking mouse in so long, I'd be like, if I were to play games, would I use the mouse with my right or my left hand? And I'm like kind of thinking I'd use my left hand. I'm not left-handed, but I feel like it'd be a bit of a pain in the ass to use the freaking controls with my left hand only. I don't know. It's like with guitar, it's like because of my left hand, I have to play it left-handed. While when it comes to writing, I'm right-handed. It's kind of a... Uh, yeah, it's like because of my left hand, it's like somewhat disadvantaged using it in some ways. So I have to like switch the hands. And... But like some things I like have to deal with it anyway kind of thing. Like say playing keyboard, you can't exactly play it the other way around now, can you? That'd be awkward as balls. And the left hand part's are always the most pain in the ass, but anyway, I'm getting very off subject here, aren't I? Yeah, it's the first time recording like this, so how am I gonna go about using the keyboard with a microphone right next to me now? I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know where to position the microphone, to be honest. It's like, uh, how can I position it so I can also, like, access the keyboard properly? And, um, actually, I think it would be better. Hang on a second. Change of plans on the microphone, one second. Funny in a way, really, isn't it? Finally get a desk, and I freaking can't even set it up properly, because, like, I'm just like, where the hell should I put everything? Okay, how can I have the microphone so it will be, like, at its maximum without me having to lean too much to the damn side? Well, I could just put it in front of me, I suppose, instead of on the side next to the keyboard. God damn it, I should have planned this out better. I should have tested it first. Right by here. No, it won't balance. Put the laptop it back a bit. Back her up, reverse. Steady. Steady. There we go. Okay, that should do the trick. I've never actually been able to record, like, in the normal way that people would record with this kind of stuff, you know? Because I always have the freaking microphone on my knee, or I'm holding the microphone, basically. Never actually have it in front of me. Well, anyways, let's get on with it, shall we? Say. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering. Those technicians seem very handy. So, like, would it be alright if I asked them to fix the well stuff? As long as it doesn't slow down the work on the garden, go ahead and try not to act for too much. Yeah, of course. Man, it seems so awkward because my voice slightly echoes into the corner of the room and everything. Weird. This, like, corner of the room, like, kind of like, it has kind of an awesome look to it, really. I imagine you probably would have seen it by the time this is uploaded if, like, I choose to, like, go with what I have planned for the thousand subscribers thing, which is gone quite a bit over that since then, because it's been quite some time, because, like, I've had lack of motivation, but anyways. I found where that ladder for the fisherman is. It was very difficult to find, and as a result, I think we can only get, like, part of the side quest completed instead of, like, getting this other item that we could have got from him, which is, um, something that'll... That's for a different side quest, and I'm not sure if it really affects it or anything, but it's a shame nonetheless. I haven't even tried Isla side quest before, to be honest, so let's do this. The ladder should be right there. See it? I mean, how the hell are you supposed to spot that? That's really difficult to spot. Well, at least I can hear the music a lot better now. I don't have to have the fan on constantly.
Seriously, it's really difficult to spot anything because there's no camera angles and you have to look really carefully. There's another one right there. It's... No, I think it's on the other screen. But I don't know where it is. It's supposed to be a hidden draw point for full life, whatever. Why people's got you running around, eh? That's my boy. <laughs> what are you teasing me? Dude, it looks like you're almost gonna fall off that. <laughs> what a weird laugh. What's so funny? You, you don't let people in, do you, boy? Nah, you've got too much pride. Yeah, maybe. Dude, every time he leans back to laugh like that, it's like he's gonna fall off. I don't think his feet are even on the damn thing. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry, boy. I didn't mean to tease you. After all the boys are running the show, it's your time now. Whatever, old man, we'll take care. Hold on, boy. Spend a little time with the old man before you leave, will ya? I think I like ya. If you have a little time, meet me at the inn. This sounds awfully suspicious, old man. Why? What for? What else to get a lecture, boy? Come on, boy. Yeah, it's sudden and all, but... Well, you decide. I think Renoa had freaking siren equipped, so... I don't wanna have to unequip it. Just to freaking find this freaking hidden draw point. I don't know where it would be. No, go back. No. No. Where would it be? I can't see no freaking. It's too small a place. How could it be possible? No, it just talks to him. Yeah, yeah, I'll decide, but I can't find this damn draw point. Where the hell did Irving go for that for a second? What the hell? Well, anyways, just to go meet him at the inn, I suppose. This track is awesome, undeniably so, isn't it? So peaceful. I don't know if my voice will be picked up quieter or louder with this freaking microphone as it is right now. Get back up the stairs, ladder, yeah, there we go. Still a bit awkward, because it's not like my usual way of recording, obviously, so I've got to get used to it, I suppose. take a little while, so I'll just meet you at the end. Okay, here we go then, let's go. <laughs> we have the microphone leaned a little forward. No, I can't do that, because he goes straight the hell down then. Great of you to come, boy. I owe you one. What do you want to talk about? I got something to show you. Here it is. Well, this is old Dobby, still in his prime. Dobby, Dobby, I don't know. Why turn our attention to military affairs? It is your opinion, however. He sure was a rebel, putting himself on the line, trying to change Esfa. Oh, that's the mayor guy, I just realized, like, oh wait, that was his name, wasn't it? This was him in his youthful days, then. No, please. You know about Esra, it's the Wonderland at the end of the tracks. Please, wait. Listen to me. You 
might have heard this already, but most of the people here used to be skilled hands, technicians from Esra. I tell you, they were full of life in the beginning. Everyone looked forward to building the Esra of their dreams. But eventually they got sidetracked from their dreams, and a lot of the focus started going to military stuff. Dobe and his buddies tried to get back to on track, but to no avail. So some decided to build their dreamland elsewhere. That's how Fisherman's Horizon came about. Dobby was again leaving Esfa and debated till the bitter end. Ironically, he's here now. A lot of time has passed since, but this man is still so obsessed with taking things out. I mean, talking things out. Can't blame the guy. It's all he knows. I'm just happy he came here. Now he's our leader. Now has first changed, and so has FH. All this kinda changes your views about this dingy place, didn't it? It won't be in the history books, but this little place was built on dreams. That's all I wanted to share. How about keep me company a bit longer? Sure, why not? You've got some heart for the old man, eh? Okay, let's go. Follow me. Yo, Evan. The old man's story was... wasn't so bad. I can kind of relate to all that. Interesting. Well, Evan, you ready to go? Come on. Let's go. Long live Fisherman's Horizon! That was random. Hey! Wait up, where are you going? You old boy. Hey, hey! Oh. <laughs> what was that? Oh. It's good to see you, you hardly ever come here. I got to show up now and then, or everyone will think I'm dead. Hey boss, guess you <coughs> caught me at a bad time. Hey, if you can drink every day, you must still be in good health. I told you to cut back, you bum. Good to see you're still alive. That's a nice thing to say, isn't it, you bum? Now we get to go back in control. What took you so long? You're drunk. You still drunk? <clears throat> Man, about time I quit. I know the boss ain't happy with me. He's so charming. You go for the older type, do you? Like, the way older type. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, so good to see you, boss. Has it been that long? Well, I'll be seeing ya. Bye, boss. Looks like the boss has got his eyes on you. Maybe you're not such a loser after all. Uh, uh, didn't mean that. Don't you ever say that again! Man, I'm not sure how the volume on his microphone's picking up with this new kind of position thing. Oh! How are you, boss? You never come here. Did something happen? I might as well introduce them. This is my old friend and former colleague. Now he's got a screw loose and is running some weird shop, am I right? Uh, this is it. What? What was that freaking red thing there? And that brat over there grew up in FH. He's becoming a bigger brat every day, causing bigger problems. Yeah, we saw that in the previous part, it was hilarious. What the? What the? You, you, you mean foul mouth? Ah, oh, shut up the both of you. you! You're the biggest bum in FH! Yeah, yeah, I won't. Go on forever. Oh, that's it? Who said what? 
Whenever there's multiple lines of dialogue, it confuses the crap out of me. I'm just like, wait, what? The boss was one hell of a skilled hand in Estra. I used to call him the engineer. Why? Because he was so skilled, he was like the engineer that led the huge train of people out of Estra. Who didn't know? What are they teaching you in school? It was actually the boss who came up with the name FH. Before leaving Estra, he was telling us that if we couldn't build our dream there, we might as well go build it somewhere else. So we all left, and at one point during our voyage, the boss sat down and began fishing. That's when he came up with a name. Right, boss? You've still got a good heart, old friend, and a mouth that goes on babbling. <laughs> well, that's why you love me, right? Some things never change. Why do you come up with, uh, Fisherman's Horizon? <laughs> Doesn't the name have some kind of meaning? Ah, well, no one complains. Now that I think of it, I was surprised nobody said anything. Huh? So you just came of it out of the blue? I always believed there was something deep behind it. Um... Well, I thought it sounded good for one thing. That's it? O of course not. What do you take me for, a fool? I thought it was because you were fishing for a dream somewhere out on the distant horizon. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. I told you that before, huh? I forgot about that. A simple name based on a simple dream. No point getting too complicated in life. I uh, suppose. We need more prescriptive youngsters like you. It's just my opinion. You know what? I don't know how I came up with that here. I knew it! Oh, we're back in control. Focus, focus! Is that, don't we use that draw point before? Oh, wait, it was just that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, well. What do you want? <whistles> nothing, because you ain't got nothing else we can upgrade to. What a shame. Yo, old man, what else? Well, time for me to get going. You need any help getting back? Sure, why not? We should be here soon. I'm sorry we're late. Boss, please use the lift when it comes this way. It's dangerous. You don't take the lift here? Boy, you're still in your prime. What were you here for? These guys? Hey, there's important guests here. I'm sorry, boss. You got a long trip ahead right here. Take this. A mega elixir. Okay, take care, boy. Well, that was nice of you. I mean, if we didn't get anything for all that, I'd just be like, okay, so it's just kind of like backstory. That took forever and was all over the place because of this whole new freaking desk and it's just like, God damn. It's a little, it's still a bit uncomfortable having to freaking lean a bit forward for the microphone. It's like, this microphone can't pick up the volume like, kind of like in the right way that I want it to. It's like, damn it. Well, anyways, um, there's actually still something I want to do here, but we'll do that in a bit. My back actually hurts. Which kind of defeats the purpose of this whole freaking heaven to death. Let's just put it back down here instead. It's still an uncomfortable position, but it'll do, it'll do. Move that there. Pick up the sound. Are you reading me yet? I'm just checking the green freaking thing on the audio there. Make sure it's actually picking up. What? So 
little bit feeling down right now. I thought I should let you know since you're kind of like everybody's leader. I think you should go talk to her. I know you're a klutz when it comes to these things, so I'll back you. Where is she? She's hanging out at the stage by the quad. Have they even said how they survived yet or not? I mean, did they like say, yeah, we jumped into that freaking thing we kicked the shit out of. And like, right as it was exploding, we managed to get in there and somehow thought that it would protect us and it did. It's like, damn. Well. I didn't expect all this heavy machinery. How else are they going to repair it with hammers and nails? Hey, 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 this isn't my department. And what is? Guns and women, of course. Ah, of course you'd say something like that. Silence. Man, I thought having a desk would be awesome for this, but man, it actually makes it a bit more of a pain in the ass, actually. After freaking somehow figure out a way to, like, have my microphone in a position where I don't have to freaking lean to the side or anything. Because damn, it really hurts. So, to the quad we go, to the quad we go. I'm starting to have to become a seed someday, so that's why I'm walking on the spot. Odd game? Hey, I don't know that rule. Wanna play a game we have FH rules? Hey, Squall, well, wanna play a card game? Nah, scratch that idea, actually. I don't want bringing in rules into this place that make things more of a pain in the ass. My back is still hurting. And I'm still bitching about it. Ah, oh, damn, is there anything I won't bitch about? No, absolutely not. Well, maybe, I don't know. Let's go! Microphone, god damn it. At this rate, I'm gonna freaking end up using my other microphone. Because it doesn't freaking fall forward or anything like that, and it could potentially actually be better for all I know. I have no idea, I've never really used it much. Which way was the quad again? Nope, it must be the one up here then. Yep. Let's go, don't do selfie, my back is really hurting like a bitch. I haven't really got much to say, really. I mean, only woke up about an hour or two ago or something like that and didn't really get much sleep. And yes, there was a long ass day putting this freaking desk together, man. I didn't do much of the work, but still, it was a long ass day. Holy crap. Ew, this is so bad. Yeah, it's been crazy with the garden moving and crashing into that page. A lot's happened. Wait, was that selfies line before that or not? Because I always get it mixed up with that. I know, I really wanted to see a band perform on this stage. I even had my eyes set on a few people, too. Oh, well. Ah, she's really bad. Oh, and I'm sure you can still do something. Squall, so, well, being sensitive? That's weird. You're the last person I expected to cheer me up. You must really look depressed. What's so weird? just like everybody else. It's just that there are so many things that can't be helped. So why bother talking about everything? Oh, there you are. go again into your own little world and you're not gonna share anything, huh? Yeah, whatever. There he goes again. Why she teased me? I was just trying to help. Well, I think I'm feeling better. Don't worry about me, Squall. Evan, you help her. I'm out of here. Alrighty. Squall, this is the headmaster speaking. Please come to my office. Good now. I guess there's no point feeling blue. 
That's right, let's get the fun started. Fun? What fun? That was so brilliant. So like, first we'll ask the FH technicians if they can fix the stage. If they can fix the garden, this should be a piece of cake for them. Mm hmm? Do you think they'll do it? Don't worry, I'll back you. I'm sure they'll do it. Hey, that means... Yep, you can have your band perform on the stage. Woohoo! All right, let's get this show on the road. Score, baby. I'm all set to make my move. That's Irvin for you, man. He has a thing for selfie, man. That about covers my report, sir. I see. I also heard a report from Selfie just a moment ago. She said the diary is open to everyone to see. Maybe you should have a look. Oh, and one more thing. It appeared that the Galbadians were searching for our love. That seemed to be their main objective in that page. You didn't mention that? That sounds like it'd be pretty important information. I believe that Sorceress ED is behind all this. The clone has the ability to allow people to experience the past. Maybe the Sorceress adds after her for this ability. What other reason could there be? So now the Galvanians are working for the Sorceress and we're searching for our own Regardless of where they found her on Mounts, they had orders to burn the city down. That would help reduce the numbers of potential places where she could hide it. That's right. Most likely the sorceress will not stop this onslaught until the loan is found. She will continue to hunt her and burn everything in her path. We can't wait any longer. Finally going official for that time. This is Headmaster Sid. I have an announcement to make. I have important news that I must share with all of you. The garden is being repaired right now. We'll leave FH immediately after it's finished. We're going on a journey. Journey to defeat the sorceress, Garden will now be used as a mobile base. The administration of Garden will be run by myself and the staff as usual. Zell, you're gonna miss out on the hot dogs! This journey will involve many battles. A well-qualified leader is needed for this. Therefore, I am appointing Squall as your new leader. Squall gonna react to this. From now on, Squall will be the leader. He will decide our destination and battle plan. Are you serious? Everyone, please follow his orders. I can't believe this. If there are any objections, please come see me in person. I don't even have a choice. Squall, we're under your command from now on. <laughs> Face part. This is your fate. It is your destiny to lead the way in defeating the sorceress. Don't talk about this like it's been decided since my birth. I don't mind fighting the sorceress is unavoidable as long as I'm a seed member. What? As long as I'm a seed member? What if I quit? Quit? Then what? What do I have left? Don't even want to think about it. Just stop thinking. I just have to do as I was told. Command the garden and kill the sorceress. How does Headmaster Sid expect me to take care of everyone? It'd be best to go fight the sorceress soon and end this nonsense. But isn't she the headmaster's wife? She wants us to kill he wants us to kill his wife. What does it feel like to give an order like that? Microphone. Hey everyone! Uh, yeah, that'll do for this part. I need to freaking, like, relax my back a bit. It freaking hurts. Besides, this part's gone on long enough as it is, and I want to see if the freaking microphone audio quality actually works well like this or not. So, see you.
you next time, Bears. See you next time.